guys, it's Lauren here. Thought I'd pop in quickly and share with you my March scrappy purchases. Now, if you know, if you've been following me along, at the beginning of the year I did share that I was going to try and be a little bit, not, not do too much shopping. Be conscious of the dollar, so you would say. So I thought... I've gone a bit naughty in March, but I think sometimes you just gotta you just gotta do it. So I thought I'd share with you what I've purchased for this well the past month and hopefully I'll be a little bit better in April. <laughs> so firstly what I thought I would share with you is this journal studio has been popping up in my news feed on all my social media areas and it has been so tough I've held off for so long but then one of the scrapbooking stores uh, that well the websites that I usually buy off had a sale and I thought I think that's just given me free free license to check this journal studio out a little bit closer so this is the one that jumped out at me and this is the crate paper one the beautiful Maggie Holmes so I've picked up this Traveller's Notebook um, in the Journal Studio collection and I had to open it straight away but I just want to share it with you. It is a really, they're lovely, they're really sturdy so I feel confident that I could throw it in my handbag and it not be damaged or marked. It has a puffy, a kind of a puffy feel to it but it does feel really sturdy so I think I, I don't think, some of my other Traveller's Notebook journals I've got I there I think they're just a little bit too fragile for my handbag and would easily get sort of damaged in the you know the twos and fro's of parenting <laughs> so I thought this one I think I would feel confident in throwing in my handbag and not worrying too much about it so inside you you've get two travelers notebooks one is has the small dot sort of grid pattern there if you can see that and the other is just blank which is perfect for scrapbooking and just sort of what I like to do with these kinds of one when they're in my handbag and they're out and about they just journal my thoughts I don't I don't overthink design it's just about me playing with pretty things and sticking things down and jotting down my thoughts there might be a shopping list involved there might be just you know those to do's that if you think if you pop it on paper and in a list it's out of your head so you can sort of cope in the on those really busy days so those ones I really like just to use for that and and a similar thing for this one as well but this one I can track a few things in shopping lists I always, are also good for this one and really scrapbooking with having a subtle nice soft grey dot in the background is always a nice contrast to the traditional just flat flat page there so these books are really sturdy they're really thick again so once again you don't you're not going to worry about that in your handbag or it getting getting overly damaged. It comes with oodles of elastics here. So we've got six elastics. Oh, that's my poor... I don't know if you can hear that, but my neighbour's dog cries every, every morning, really. Oh... It's Pongo. Pongo's a Dalmatian that lives next door and he doesn't get to go for many walks or things like that. But he looks, he pops his little face over my fence every now and then and I give him a bit of a love up because I, I worry about him over there sometimes. But anyway, back onto the shopping. Um, so you've got a pocket here and you've got this gorgeous pocket here. The stitching's done beautifully. It feels strong and sturdy. So definitely if you're thinking about journal studio for that everyday traveler's notebook that is going into your handbag I I recommend it based on the quality and the robust kind of feel that it's sort of giving me that it can survive parenting and busyness and children and you know who knows I've got all sorts of things in my handbag so I think this one will be perfect for that 
I also picked up some of the accent stickers and die cuts. These are, I can't go past puffy stickers. So these are the sweetest little coordinating set here. So Maggie Holmes. Oh, hello there, little scripty font. I love these. Uh, these. These little ones here for this journal studio are also perfect for Project Life because they're so tiny. You can pop them into your uh, Project Life album. They don't overtake a space, but still give that really beautiful little accent feature there. So I picked up those puffy stickers. And here is the die cut shape. So I'd love, let's have a little look in there and see what's happening. I have a feeling just by the shape of some of these die cut embellishments is that they'll fit along the Traveller's Notebook pages really well if I can get into it. Here we go. I think, I think maybe not. Maybe not. So the other purchase I made in March was a new pair of scissors. Did you see that? Look at that. How beautiful does that cut? It's like silk. It's like they're like sewing scissors. You know when when you're cutting fabric and it gives that nice feel. So these ones here are by American Crafts and they are a beautiful set of gold scissors and I just had them as a scrappy treat. There was a sale on so I threw them in my cart. I usually have pink as my preferred purchase of tools but I thought I'm going to mix it up a little and go with the gold. <laughs> um, Alright, so we've got some beautiful big pieces of ephemera. Let's do this. Let's see. It's got a little reinforcing hole there. Yeah, look at that. How perfect is that? That's just going to make such a lovely quick and easy little accent feature on your traveller's notebook there. So we've got two of those, look there's beautiful gold foiling, we've got three sorry, and how cute is that little design, let's see what else we've got in here, you shine, a checklist, journaling prompt, gorgeous tag, other tag, so you could definitely use these for scrapbooking, you could use these in your project life, but they are also perfect for your traveller's notebooks. I actually am thinking these will... Oh, how cute is this little frame? It's a bit of foiling on the top there. Um, tags. This is, this is my kind of scrapbooking, so I think this might get translated into a layout, <laughs> this pack. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hello there. I love that, that font. It's so cute. Oh, oh, look at that. All the different moons in a gold foiling there. And the top little pack, if I can get into it, I think we'll just go. Like that. Oh, a pretty gold foil butterfly there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Moments and places, the best. Another little tag. Moments and places. Another flower embellishment. Life lately. There's no place I'd rather be. Tag. Make today great. Little tabs butterfly and a little little bug my happy little life one big journey oh the cute swan look at that a floral heart little moments count remember this moment a little tab another little tag how cute is that one I love that one and remember this moment. So that is my gorgeous little treat there with the Journal Studio Collection. I'll just throw that all in there. And then I have picked up 
not one, not two, but three packets of these gorgeous Pink Fresh Studio Puffy Alphabet stickers. These, the reason I, I recently got the a, a set of these as part of the Hip Kit Club uh, February kit, and I loved them. The colour tones were great. Um, and this year with my Project Life, I'm doing a year in black and white with just some pops of colour in photos. And I thought, wouldn't it be good if I had a sort of a consistent um, consistent theme with some titles throughout the throughout the months? So I made the decision that this Pink Fresh Studio. Um, puffy stickers would be that thing that continues throughout the month. The beautiful thing is you've got two pages in each plus numbers which are important for our project life with dates and things like that and I think it says 466 pieces in each set so I've technically got four packets of these and I'm hoping just with little random titles throughout my year that I will have enough to get through just some random words that will cover a year and that will be that consistent theme travelling through which hopefully will all tie together so that's those so the other thing that I I did say to myself I wouldn't be buying any more stamps and I would be very I'm going to use my stamps that I've got and you know but I had to blow that out of the water when I jumped on to, well when I saw on the Kerry Bradford Instagram page she was sharing some of her new stamps and I fell in love now for me to purchase these um, with our Aussie dollar at the moment this was a big present to myself don't tell my husband <laughs> This may have been a sneaky purchase, but I have been very good, so I thought I deserve it. <laughs> so I picked up uh, the Day by Day set. Now, I'm just trying to see if you can, like, I'm, I don't I don't think I have a ruler handy, but this set is really, it's Monday through to Sunday, obviously, day by day, and it is actually not they're, they're really small and so the reason why I thought I would get these is to once again support these alphabets and have this consistent theme running through my Project Life album and highlighting some of the days of the week. So I, I picked those up and I thought that was a really sweet font, a uh, fun font and would be one that um, would look really fabulous in my Project Life album. So that's that set. I then thought you need some titles in your Project Life album as well. So I picked up the Brooklyn set. So this here is the size of a 6x4 photo. That's probably a, would have been a better way of... That's a 6x4 photo there. So the stamp set is a 6x4 set. And this here is a 3x4 set. So you can see that photo there. So again, just trying to get a size ratio for you. So I picked up the Brooklyn and the Brooklyn outline. And I thought this, these two sets would be really, really fun if I stamped out the outline in black ink and then using different coloured themes throughout the album in different inks, I would be able to ink up the the block font and sit that over the top of the outline. Now I actually don't I know that I'm I'm not I'm not a perfectionist so I don't mind I don't mind if I'm not going to be able to match them up properly because I have no device that will ensure that success. So I'm not going to put that pressure on myself. But I still thought it would be fun if it was just a little bit offset anyway. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll let you know how those ones go. But I thought that was a really great font, 
not too big, really portable, so I want Project Life to be portable, so when I'm scrapping with my girlfriends or even in the lounge room or, you know, just doing a little bit here and there, I want those, um, I, I, want, I don't want to be frightened of having to take a huge amount of stuff. I just want to be able to pick up some small, a little bucket of small things and I know that I can work on my Project Life, so I grab those. So to help coordinate with those, so I'll have some titles, I'll have them offset in colours that match my um, mini puffy stickers there. I'll have the days of the week going in coordinating colours as well. I thought I'd better have coordinating colours of tag journaling prompts for my, my pages as well. So I picked up this label maker set from Kerry Bradford and I thought I can stamp out... Uh, some coordinating uh, journal boxes which will go perfectly on the corners of my Project Life album and my photos and um, I think you get the general idea of what I'm doing. So by the end, because I, like, I've printed all my photos for 2019, I'm up to date with that and they're all in their pa pockets in the right sizes and everything but I'm yet to just personalise them and add that journaling and add those embellishments. So that's I, I'm feeling as though I've got what I need to start 2019. It, it took me a little bit of a head, it was a, a bit of a head work on to get this the way I wanted it because 2018 was my first year of completing Project Life in its entirety and I have to tell you that's still continuing. So I went above and beyond there and embellished like every photo and I thought no I can't do that again for 2019 otherwise. I will be still completing them in 2050, I think. <laughs> but anyway, so so far I've got this lovely little Project Life bundle here. I've got these gorgeous scissors. I've got a touch of Journal Studio for me to have some fun with. And my la well, the other th more practical purchase I made was I picked up another 25 pack of the Basil Marshmallow, which is my preferred... Uh, scrapbooking paper base especially when I'm using mixed media products I always buy that in a lot of 25 so that is the basil marshmallow there so if you do like to add a little bit of mixed media on your projects I strongly suggest that you try this out it's a heavy weight card stock but it's also built to hold some mixed media uh, products on there so sometimes I don't even need to use gesso um, as a primer on it because it's so sturdy and can hold the hold the product on top of the page. So my last little treat for myself is this gorgeous book. It's called Paint, Play, Explore and it says here expressive mark making techniques in mixed media. And this uh, amazingly talented lady Ray Missiganman, <laughs> sorry I'm not sure how to pronounce that, um, I've been following on Instagram and she inspires me daily with her style. Now uh, mixed media in this format in art journaling doesn't come easy to me, it's something that I'm still working on and exploring and trying to find my confidence in, in that but it's something that I really want to achieve and I know that if uh, following lots of mixed media uh, art journaling people on social media I tend to fall back on Ray as the person that sort of um, is the well she's the she's the artist that resonates more of what I would be hoping for in the style as I'm evolving as that sort of mixed media art journal artist so if I ended up with anything that she created on a project um, for me, I would be over the moon. So I thought I would pick up her book um, where she teaches techniques and gives you a, um, a list of the tools that she uses and uh, the products and the way she builds pages. And um, look, I haven't even sat down yet and I'm actually, I don't even kind of want to open too many pages. I might just close, I'm closing my eyes right now and I'm going to flick through for you. I'm going to flick through for you now because I really want to sit down with a, an amazing cup of coffee on a beautiful, quiet, maybe overcast day and 
I'm not even looking here and it's kind of making me feel a bit dizzy. But anyway, I, I think you get the general gist of what I want to do um, and just sort of soak this book up and then I want to start my process of pushing my techniques. So in 2019, I'm hoping by the, by the end of the year I will have developed a... A, a more of a confidence in my mixed media art journal process and um, be well on the way of the journey to finding out who Lauren is in in relation to art journaling and my style and the things that have generated through my process. So this book I am hoping is going to be sort of the catalyst to building that confidence and, and helping me jump off the edge a little bit here. So I'm going to flick through a little bit faster now because it kind of feels funny sitting here with my eyes closed <laughs> and I hope that it's in the right position and you can see things. <laughs> But, yeah, so I picked this up from the Book Depository. The beautiful thing about the Book Depository is that it ships worldwide for free. Um, and any time I've tried to find an art journal, like an art arty book or anything like that, I've been able to jump on there and it's always there. So um, check out the Book Depository if you'd love to pick up this uh, beautiful book, Paint, Play, Explore. All right, so that is my scrappy purchases for March. I hope you've also spoiled yourself uh, over the last month with some goodies and, um, and have found some things to inspire you to create in April and ongoing. So take care, guys. I'll be back with a new uh, process video really soon, a uh, project for the Hip Kit Club. It was a fun layout, so I hope you check back on my YouTube channel in the next couple of days where that will be uploaded. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.